Hello everyone, I'm making this video to show you the two different ways Darth Malora can potentially react to your character based on the choice you made way back in the very beginning of the game when you started any Sith character with Lord Renning. Was he Darth Renning? You know, the quest where you meet Malora as an apprentice. So I'll show you the two choices in that particular quest and then based on that, Darth Malora's reaction much much later into the story in Jedi Under Siege. I've dissected hundreds of Tukata, forging a direct connection to the dark side. Each beast I examine advances me toward perfect unity. I now stand at a new frontier, but find myself thwarted. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. Life is rough, but at least it's interesting. You don't understand I've lost a vital key to unlocking the dark side's true essence. You acolytes delve those tombs on your trials. You could hunt that Tukata for me and retrieve its perfect brain. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows, assist me, and you will be rewarded. Why not send your apprentice to recover this beast? She's more suited to the laboratory than the tombs. She lacks your fire, I'm afraid. Ask Malora where to seek the Tukata and return to me when you have its brain. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. That fool's research is pointless. Not a very loyal apprentice, are you? He's my master in title only. He has nothing to teach anyone about the dark side of the Force. Renning deludes the Dark Council into believing he's advancing Sith knowledge. The truth is, he wastes the Empire's time and resources dissecting mindless animals. But if his experiments were discredited, he would be banished, and I would be rewarded. You're just scheming to get rid of your master. I have a greater destiny than serving as a research assistant in this pathetic excuse for a laboratory. Look, just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. We'll see, if I have time. You'll learn rewards from both the Master and his apprentice. It's a better deal. The mutant Tukata escaped to the tomb of Mark of Ragnos. It's much larger than the others, so it's easy to spot. Return to me with the brain before you see Lord Renning, and I'll take care of the rest. I'm running out of patience. Have you finally acquired the mutant Tukata brain, or should I send someone else? I got what you wanted. Ha! <sighs> Wonderful! Let me see it. Hope you don't mind if the brain got a little scrambled. I don't need it to be in pristine condition. Half the fun of my work is poking through the layers. You've done an impressive job, young alien. I have no qualms about rewarding your effort. Melora well, asked me to sabotage your experiment. Is that so? Melora, if you can't show my work the appreciation it deserves, there's no place for you as my apprentice. Wait, Master. It's a lie. I haven't betrayed you. I know the truth when I hear it, Melora. I'm releasing you from my service. Eventually. <laughs> Master, please. Stop. No. <laughs> my dear. The pain for you is only beginning. Take your reward and leave. Malora and I have much to discuss. Sounds like you need some help. I appreciate your kind offer, but I prefer to handle this myself. Farewell. The operation is being overseen by a younger member of the Dark Council, Darth Malora. Head of Scientific Advancement. While Melora possesses a brilliant mind, not unlike Empress Asina, she has little of Asina's patience for the subtleties of military operations. Melora's objective was meant to be completed by now. Pressed to deliver results, she will likely hurl troops at the problem without regard for strategy. My finest infantry soldiers, Raven Squad, are participating in the operation. It would be a great loss to the Empire if their lives were wasted. 
Malura. I believe I had dealings with her on Korriban long ago. Ah, good. Then you'll already be one step ahead. I crushed her efforts to undermine her master. I doubt it ended well for her. That may complicate matters. Unfortunately, I know of no one else capable of resolving this situation. I'm here to help. That a fact? At the request of Moff Pyron. Well, that's a different story. You do look familiar, somehow. We worked together before. Ugh, this ruckus is intolerable. I'm trying to concentrate. What is the meaning of all this? You! I should have known some glory hound like you would slither their way into my grandest achievement. Just what business does the Alliance have here, Commander? It's clear that you've grown since our last encounter. How long has it been? Not long enough. You're fortunate that others value your life more than I do. This is my operation. I will see it done my way. If you feel you can contribute, I'm sure the Major can use your help for something or other. Have you recovered the Mutant Tukata brain yet? I'm eager to conclude the business we discussed. It's right here. Have it. Excellent. This chemical will make it appear as though Renning is falsifying his research. There. All that remains is for me to whisper the right words in the wrong ears. I'm transferring credits to your account now. Give Renning the brain and collect his reward too. You've made out quite well. If I'm connected with this, you're the first to die. Save your tiresome threats. I'll take care of everything. We shouldn't be seen speaking again. Lord Renning might suspect us. Give him the brain. You have the brain at last. Excellent work. I trust it wasn't too much trouble. You're not getting all the gory details. Keeping the secrets of your success to yourself? As you wish. You've done good work, my alien friend. Take a reward and run along. You might want to consider bathing sometime. Yes, yes, you may stop talking now. Goodbye. The operation is being overseen by a younger member of the Dark Council. Darth Malora, Head of Scientific Advancement. While Malora possesses a brilliant mind, not unlike Empress Asina's, she has little of our previous ruler's patience for the subtleties of military operations. Malora's objective was meant to be completed by now. Pressed to deliver results, she will likely hurl troops at the problem without regard for strategy. My finest infantry soldiers, Raven Squad, are participating in the operation. It would be a great loss to the Empire if their lives were wasted. Melora. I believe I had dealings with her on Korriban long ago. Ah, good. Then you'll already be one step ahead. I helped her undermine her superior, and I'm not sure that debt was ever fully repaid. This would seem an opportune time to collect. I'm here to help. That a fact. At the request of Moff Pyron. Well, that's a different story. You do look familiar, somehow. We worked together before. Ugh, this ruckus is intolerable. I'm trying to concentrate. What is the meaning of all this? You. I should have known some glory hound like you would slither their way into my grandest achievement. Just what business does the Alliance have here, Commander? It's clear that you've grown since our last encounter. How long has it been? If you've come here to profit by some long-in-the-past debt, you're going to be sorely disappointed. This is my operation. I will see it done my way. If you feel you can contribute, I'm sure the Major can use your help for something or other. Whatever you end up doing, do it quietly. I need to focus on my creations. Her creations are just as likely to get us killed as any Jedi. Idiot. <laughs>